Maybe if someone white says the exact same thing I said, maybe you'll start to believe it. Shares of NVIDIA up a couple of percent in afternoon trading on Thursday in response to reporting results. Uh, color me surprised. This company was incredibly richly valued prior to earnings. I personally would have guessed it would have fallen hard, but the quarter's results were that good. Uh, let's review those numbers in about 10 minutes. My name is Brian Feraldi. As of the time is recording, I do not own shares of NVIDIA, a 1.2 billion dollar company and this is the company's second quarter of fiscal year 2024. A revenue for the quarter more than doubled to 13.5 billion dollars. That was 2.5 billion dollars more than Walshi expected and management's own guidance. Phenomenal top line growth for a company of this size. Uh, earnings per share exploded 429% higher to $2.70 on a non-gap basis. Also really besting Wall Street's estimates. So phenomenal top and bottom line uh, beat. Why was revenue so strong? Well, it really comes down to the company's data center business, up 171% year over year to $10 billion. This, comp this business line is now basically 70 or 80% of company's total sales and just on fire. Uh, gaming held its own up 22% to about $2.5 billion. Uh, the other company's other business segments were essentially mixed up and down, but they are truly rounding errors compared to the data centers and a gaming a business. Now, as usual, the company announced a ton of new product and products during the quarter. Lots of new partnerships with the likes of ServiceNow, VMware, Snowflake, etc. And more new products are on the way. And this is in the company's data center uh, business. Uh, the same can be said for the company's gaming, professional visualization, automotive uh, businesses, new products on the, now, uh, on, the, on the horizon. All good to see. But again, it's really data centers that are driving this business. Now, the huge top line growth did some phenomenal things for this company's margins. Gross margin above 70%. Operating margin and net margin both skyrocketed year over year, leading to that huge growth in earnings and earnings per share. Free cash flow came in at $6 billion for the quarter, a net income more than $6 billion, and the balance sheet improved year over year, $16 billion in cash, just $8.4 billion in debt after paying off some debt. Uh, digging into the income statement a little more, huge growth in revenue, really big growth in gross profit. Yet despite that, operating expenses only grew about 10%. That is very, very impressive. Uh, that led to the huge jump in a net income. And uh, believe it or not, the share count actually declined uh, year over year thanks to the company's buyback programs. Not by all that much, but it did decline. Speaking of buybacks, the company bought back about 3.8 billion shares, $3.8 billion worth of shares during the quarter, about 7.5 million shares in total. Um, I don't know if that's the best use of capital uh, given the company's valuation today, but this stock is going up, so maybe it is. What do, what do I know on that front? Um, CEO and founder Jensen Wong said a new computing era has begun. Um, the numbers clearly show that that is uh, correct. They're making huge progress, especially with major cloud providers uh, during the quarter. On the call, they called out basically everybody in cloud, AWS, Google, Meta, Microsoft, Oracle are all growing. The number of GPU cloud providers are deploying in volume. So everybody is spending big on NVIDIA chips uh, right now. And management expects the good times to continue. Our revenue for the upcoming quarter is expected to grow 64% to about $16 billion, way above Wall Street's estimate of $12 billion. A Wall Street is expecting $2.44 on a per share basis, up sharply from the year ago uh, period. For the full year, a Wall Street significantly boosted their full year revenue guide, uh, target for about $44.5 billion. Given the huge beat this quarter and raise, it's likely that that figure is going to be going higher uh, for the full year. Wall Street is currently estimating $8.25. It's likely that that figure is going higher. Uh, overall here, the thesis looks very much on track, but I think investors should continue to watch revenue, data centers, margins, and their capital return program. Moat here Definitely stable, at worst, widening at best. Thesis is fully on track. This company continues to score extremely well on both of our investing uh, frameworks. Turning to valuation, let's think through NVIDIA's income statement. Up and down, this company... It's redundant from there. But 
I just wanted a white person to say the exact same thing I said all the way back in November. Because if a white person said, then investors, traders are conditioned to believe it unconditionally. If my black ass say the exact same thing, you're conditioned to question the sources and where I got it from. White boy can come from from I from nowhere, from Irish from a bar of Irish Spring soap and tell you to do something in Bitcoin and you automatically do it without questioning. If I say it, then you need to go check 19 references and citations. And ask me, where you get that from? Where you got that from? Where did you get that from? When the white boy has been telling you bullshit about Bitcoin for seven years, nobody ever questioned anything. Half of you deserve to get fucking scammed because you keep trusting white people unconditionally. So I put this video here because I need to feed your addiction to white advice because it's the only thing you trust. Do you feel better now and more secure about the suggestion that I made in NVIDIA?